boysioners and boysionettes, if you have not seen the latest episode to The Flash, why the fuck are you here? Go watch the episode and then come back and then join us. Because when these fingers disappear, there's going to be a flash flood of spoilers, so that is your warning. Your last warning, so get up out of here. Now, we get to see Zoom's origin story. Um, so, um, so it's, oh, let's just start it off with this. He's Hunt, no, his name is Hunter Zolomon. And um, we, at first we get to see a bit of his childhood. It's pretty identical to Barry's childhood. But only this time, um, Hunter's father makes him watch him kill his mother. And that's some deep ass shit. <laughs> that is very, very deep, disturbing ass shit right there. But what's interesting is that what what um while what's going on with Hunter's parents is what people thought was going on with Barry's parents. Isn't that isn't that a weird you know weird little coincidence there? But um, as I was watching that, I thought to myself, um, if it hadn't been for um, Joe's hospitality, then Barry would be on this path, Hunter's path, the same path as Hunter. And um, thank God to Joe, to Joe West for um, taking Barry under his wing, because I honestly believe that Joe is, you know, Joe has molded you know Barry into the man that he is today. So take that away, then. He would be basically no different than Hunter's Omen. But um, I liked how we briefly get a brief reminder that Flash visit Supergirl's world. You know, like how he shows how he got there and how he came back and how he's like, how long was I gone for, you know? <laughs> so I would have had him say, guys, um, you would not believe that, you know, what I've seen, you know, the things that I've seen and and then be like, I mean, I got, you know, I'll tell, I got to tell you guys about it later. And then, you know, something like that, you know, but I'm still glad that they finally touched base on that because I'm like, you know, they didn't do that for the past couple episodes. And I'm like, or the, what, the past episode? I'm like, what the fuck? I hope they touched base on this. And then they finally did. So I'm glad for that. But, um, and remember when, um, when um, Hunter, um, when he was pretending to be Jay Garrick and he uh, took Caitlyn to, you know, to show her his doppelganger of Earth in Earth One, and um, and how he basically threw her off by saying, "Yeah, he's bounced around from foster home to foster home until he's finally adopted by the Zolomans, and that's how he got his name. So that's why he, they don't share the same name. I mean, that's a good little that's a good little curveball you threw there, but um." I'm sure some of us, some of you are probably thinking, there's something really off about this. There's something really off about that. It doesn't add up to me. <laughs> and that's, some, that's what probably some of you were thinking. But I just took it, at, at, I took it as he, as he uh, presented it. So it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess we'll see. I mean, there's got to be more to it than that. But I guess we'll see. <laughs> but, um, and I also... Um, Thought um, I thought it was pretty cool how Cisco, um, how his powers are evolving, like where he's starting to get closer to his Earth Two doppelgangers level, and that that freaks him out, and he's not really comfortable about that, and and he's afraid of being seduced by the dark side of the Force. So um, yeah, that's pretty cool that um you know that his powers are, you know, are going to the next level, but and um. And also, um, what also really threw me off was, um, uh, you know, like how um, Zoom explained how him and Jay Garrick were, you know, basically in the same place at the same time, where they they saw Jay Garrick uh, be killed by Zoom, and and he explained how that happened, or he ran into it, uh, his time remnant, time rip, uh, remnant. Um, basically his past self you know to be more specific and how we talked him into being part of this plan and letting him kill him and whatnot and um uh, it doesn't really add up to me i mean like um like if you like if for those of you if you watch legends of tomorrow you remember how the last episode ended and how this episode coming up some you know um how um 
this woman is going after each team member of their uh, past selves and she's gonna try to kill them so they'll be wiped away they'll be wiped away from existence that that pattern that I mean that story that element has been used before in other shows and this is being used in this same universe I mean the flash and the legends of tomorrow they share the same universe and you know zoom kills his time remnant and or you know his past self and he doesn't take any precautions of what would happen to him if he did that i mean you know like 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 shouldn't he be dead from from doing that i mean i don't know that seems a little off to me i mean like that's not i mean i'm having a, a hard time investing into that so if you're not i mean please shed some light on it you know like on my curiosity is there something i'm missing there i mean please explain that to me you know like you know don't be a jerk about it either i mean please <laughs> but um another thing that really threw me off was um that zoom got all of uh the flash's powers he took all of his powers away like um you know i mean he kidnapped wally you know to, um so he can do it so like for wally's life wally's life for the flash's speed and that's what he gave him and now basically i guess he's cured now i think he's no he's not dying anymore now i'm, I'm guessing um but um two things i thought were gonna happen i thought one either barry has a trick up his sleeve and he's not telling the team about it or two the team interferes with the plan and they're keeping barry out of the loop on this plan because they know he wouldn't agree with it but none of the above so zoom is cured he has to, he has to flash his speed and um so you know i mean he, his goal is accomplished but yet he still manages to take something else you know he, he takes somebody else with him after he agreed to give wally back to them and he takes caitlin after he gets to flash his speed like what the fuck but um this was a really intense ass episode and um you know and um and, and it's really ridiculous how um how the team has yet again been manipulated by some by another speedster who's pretending he's pretending to be somebody else and and trying to help be, help barry get faster and faster for their own personal reasons you know like reverse flash did that and now zoom has done that and um you know it's like wow i mean like they've been you know they've been fooled once again you know like and it's pretty ridiculous i mean like i mean that i can't figure out what threw me off a bit more i mean i was always suspicious about harrison wells but i wasn't suspicious about jay garrick like not at first um as the as the season went on i started to get suspicious like when i got closer to zoom revealing himself you know to the fans and um it was like okay there's something really off here like what the fuck and um so basically putting everything together um zoom um basically you know according to zoom i guess jay garrick is just a just a, a, a you know a persona that he that he created all by himself and um and on earth 2 he's manipulating the people of central city into thinking that he's a hero so he's a superhero by day and a super villain at night and just like he told Joe, like when he asked him why why is he dressed up like the Flash, to get people hope, so he can take so he can rip it away from them, and and that's what he done with the team. He gave them hope and he ripped it away from them, and wow, <laughs> they're really gonna have some serious, serious, serious trust issues that you know, like after that. I mean, they have to, they have to you know, take you know gr greater precautions. You know, like. In season three you know like when with any new faces they come across or they're like yeah i want to help like mm, we've been through this twice and we're and third times to charm my ass <laughs> but this was a great episode you know like except for that minor flaw that i have when um but the whole time remnant thing and, and you know killing his past self and whatnot um but outside of that this was a great episode overall so it gets four chair spans out of five one, two, excuse me, two, three, four. Um, I guess that's four. <laughs> no, I mean, like, 
had a little minor burp there, but you get where I'm going with this. It's four chair spins, even though that, that was probably five, but um, four and a half. I mean, that's as high as, as I can take it. But yeah, it, it you know, like, you, you know, um, we still don't know who that man in the iron mask is and um, who I think it might be. I mean, what if, what if um, it's Hunter Zoman's father and he kidnaps him and he makes him see the you know the monster that he created and basically any blood that zoom sheds is on his father's hands and but that's just a theory i mean like you know I, i'm sure i'm totally wrong but what if i was right i mean what if, i mean wouldn't that be something now but from the from the hints of this episode where he said you won't you wouldn't believe me if i told you when they asked about like who is who you know, like who is the guy behind the mask um it's supposed to. It's it's gonna be like a huge reveal. It's gonna be a probably a bigger reveal than than Zoom's identity, probably. Um, I don't know who it could be though. I mean, you know, I you know I'm pretty convinced that Jay Garrick doesn't exist, and um, so I would have said it was him. But I'm thinking, I'm starting to think that you know maybe it's not because, it, you know, like from the from this episode, it's like Jay Garrick was all just a. A facade you know but maybe uh, may, may, maybe Jake Eric does exist but not on earth 2 or earth 1 but I don't know ah, I mean we'll see uh, but um yeah um it's ridiculous and um and who do you think fooled the team better you know like who do you think fooled the team the best um the reverse flash or zoom and how do you think um, Barry's gonna get his powers back. Um, I think it's gonna be the, um, the speed formula, probably. I mean, that may, you know, that may be his fighting chance. And, um, who do you think the man in the Iron Mask is? Let me know in the comments section. But, um, I know some people are probably, some of you are probably, you know, there's some people who thought, why didn't they just give Zoom the speed formula? Well, he would, he would take the speed formula and he would say, I still want, I still want Barry's speed. I still want the flash of speed. I mean, he's a speed junkie. Come on. Didn't you see the way he, you know, popped a syringe in there? He got a full dose of um, the flash's powers. And he was like, <laughs> you know, like like a crazy ass drunkard, like a crazy ass crackhead or some shit. I mean, I mean, seriously. I mean, come on. <laughs> but um, yeah, this was a fantastic episode. So tell me what you thought of this episode and share your comments down below. Share your speculations. Uh, if you enjoyed this review, thumb up the video. Make sure you click subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, y'all. <laughs>